And then secondly, praise is a key to the manifested presence of God. Now, we know that God is omnipresent. That means he's everywhere all at once. He's everywhere. He's on Pluto right now. He's in the farthest galaxy. He's everywhere all at once. One of the modern versions of Scripture says this, if I were to climb up to the highest heavens, you would be there. If I were to dig down to the world of the dead, you would be there also. Let me tell you something. God is everywhere. If someone says, well, Pastor, you know something? I just don't feel His presence. I don't feel His presence. That's because there's two types of presence. There's the omnipresence of God, and then there's the manifested presence of God. Amen. To manifest something is to make it known. And I'm going to tell you something. God is able to make himself known. How many of you know that's true? He is a revealer of himself. He can touch us with his presence. Oh, sometimes it's when you're standing there and you're looking out the window and you see the thunder rolling and you see the lightning or you're looking at the beauty of a sunset and you say, wow, that's my God that made that. Oh, hallelujah. And then at other times, it's when you sense his still, small voice in the quiet recesses of your heart. It's when you open the word and all of a sudden you feel the Spirit of God lifting the words off your pages. Come on, I'm just here to tell you that God can reveal Himself to you. He can manifest Himself to you. You say, well, how does it all work? How does, how does it work? Let me tell you something. I believe that praise is the key to having God make Himself known. This is what the Word says. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all ye lands. Psalms 100. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know that He is the Lord. He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are, the sh- we are His uh, people and the sheep of His pasture. You know what the psalmist was doing? He was saying, I'm going to recognize who God is first of all. I'm going to recognize who I am. Amen. I belong to Jesus. I belong to the Lord. I'm his, the sheep of His pasture. And then I love this part. It says, enter into His kingdom gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Amen. This is the key, my friend, to getting into the presence of the Lord. This is the key to sensing his touch. Shout to the Lord. Serve the Lord. Come before him with singing. Know he's God. And then begin to offer praise and thanksgiving and begin to bless his name. Amen. As you do that, I'll tell you something. It is as though you walk through the gates right into the the very courtroom of God and suddenly you sense the presence of the Lord. Does anybody know what I'm talking about today? Have you ever been in a moment where you've said, God, I just need you today and you begin to praise and you begin to worship and you begin to just love on him and all of a sudden there he was. You felt him. I don't know how you feel him. I don't know whether you get little goosebumps or or whether you just feel something on the inside. I don't know how he touches you. I know how he touches me but I'm going to tell you something I know one thing we have a God that can reveal himself if we praise him and if we love him that's what praise is praise that means that praise is more are you with me praise is more than a reaction of coming into his presence Praise to God is a vehicle of faith which takes us into His presence. Praise and worship is the gate pass which allows us to enter the sacredness of His glory. And there's only one reason why we can be there. The shed blood of Jesus. Come on. Aren't you grateful for the shed blood of Jesus? Amen. Draw near to God and He will draw near to you. I love that verse. You take a step towards God, guess what He'll do? He'll take a step towards you. You say, God, I've decided I'm going to praise you today. He'll say, all right, I'm here. I'm listening. You start praising, he'll start listening. You keep praising, he'll get closer. Come on. You decide I'm going to do what the Word says and lift my hands. hands. How many of you realize you don't just have to lift your hands at church? Amen. I do it while I'm walking. I do it. I, 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 do, the, I do the Steve Curry. Ugh. How many know who Steve Curry is? All right. The Golden State Warriors. Yeah, they're going to win this year. Come on. Hello, I'm wa- Steph Curry, Steph Curry, All right, i got to say it right, Steph Curry, that's what happens when I get off my notes, all right, 
I'm walking, I'm going for a walk, I got my praise and worship on. All of a sudden, I get up, I'm like, oh yeah, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now, where was I at? When I take a step towards him, he takes a step towards me. Amen. And I'll tell you, there's a lot to thank him for. Amen. Is there anybody say, I've got a lot to thank Jesus for today. He's forgiven us of our sins. He wrote our name down in heaven. He woke us up this morning. Come on. He allowed us up from time to time to eat Captain Crunch. Come on. I'm just saying it. You wrote a car to church today. You've got something to be thankful for. Amen. Give him praise. And praise means to commend, to applaud, or magnify. Amen. So for the Christian, praise to God is an expression of worship. It's where we lift up and glorify the Lord. It's an expression of humbling ourselves before Him. Amen. And you know, some people have never really understood what praise and worship is in a church service. They never have. And it's be, maybe it's because they've never been taught, or maybe it's because they've never really experienced the presence of the Lord. But let me tell you something. The, the songs that we sing, that is not a preliminary till we get to the most important part. How many of you realize the most important part is the songs that we sing and the worship to God? How many of you know God comes first? Seek ye first the pastor's sermon. Oh, is that what it says? Oh, come on, y'all. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Uh, you know, call upon Him. Seek Him. while, And that's what praise and worship is. As we, as we do that, that's the most important part. Amen. Amen. And, the, and, and it's all good, right? And I'll tell you, when, when we come to the, to the Lord in praise and worship, it's, it's not just an outward thing that we do. It's a heart thing. You say, well, Pastor Bob, I see that you're a real exuberant guy, and you're kind of loud, and you move around a lot, and I'm not that way. I've got dignity. Okay, that's cool. I don't, it doesn't matter. Just praise Him in your heart. Use your voice. You can, you can speak softly. You don't have to be like me. You don't have to wave your arms and get excited and jump up. You don't have to do any of those things. But the most important thing is that you're sincerely worshiping the Lord. How many of you agree with that? Sincerely love Him. Sincerely give Him praise. Amen. Amen. It's not just a tradition. It's not just something that we do because we need to kind of tip our hat to God. Amen. Matthew 15 and verse 8 says this. This is what Jesus said. He said, These people draw near to me with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Oh, I don't want to be that kind of a person. Right? I, don't want, I, I want my heart to be toward Him. Right? Uh, and, and, and what that means is that we're just sincere about it. We're sincere about thanking Him and praising Him and sincere about loving Him. Unpretentious praise when worship pleases the Lord. He delights in the love and the devotion of His children. Come on. According to the Scriptures, all those various expressions of praise and worship, whether they're quiet or soft or loud and boisterous, however, they're a fragrance that goes up before our Lord. Amen. And, uh, and they're beautiful. Thank you so much. In fact, did you know that the Lord is looking for us? The Father. The Scripture says this, John 4, 23. The hour's coming, and it now is. Tell your neighbor, it now is. Right now. And when the true worship will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. Amen. And, and, the, and He's promised us that when we do that, when we gather in His name, He'll be in the midst of us. Matthew 18, 20, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. A gathering in His name, name means that Jesus is the focus. He's the center of the assembly. He's the one who's preached about, sung about, the one who's praised and worshiped. Come on, can we give a big praise for Jesus today? Amen. <laughs> 